Since the beginning of our time on Earth, humans have searched for ways to illuminate the night. Unfortunately, this comes at significant cost to many of the other creatures who also call our planet home. Light is a powerful biological force, and for many species, including our own, it can disrupt circadian rhythm, hormone-regulated processes, foraging, mating, development, and navigational behaviors. Perhaps one of the best examples of how light pollution affects wildlife can be seen in Florida, where sea turtles are struggling to survive the encroachment of urban development on areas where they nest. The Guardians of the Night are on the front line, changing the landscape of light on our beaches to help secure their future. Sea turtles require a sandy beach to survive. Every year, females crawl ashore multiple times in the same season to lay nests on the beach. Each nest holds roughly 100 eggs, and in about 55 days, hatchlings will emerge. If there are brightly lit beachfront properties, she will often turn away and head back into the ocean, where she may release her eggs while swimming or go to another beach to try again. Evidence of this behavior is visible every morning during nesting season in the form of false crawls. When females have come ashore to nest but return to the ocean without laying, Local turtle monitoring groups see this all too frequently. A false crawl typically indicate one of two things. It could be people on the nesting beaches with her, and occasionally it's lighting. And if it's lighting, she comes in, goes up to that dune line all the way in, sometimes 200 feet and back out to sea. That's normally a lighting problem. Hatchlings are also impacted by artificial light. As they emerge from their nests, hatchlings use the contrast between the relatively brighter ocean, which reflects celestial light, and the darkened silhouette of the dune to make their way to the ocean. Before human development, they had no problem finding the sea. Now, man-made light is disrupting their natural sea-finding abilities disorienting hatchlings and attracting them toward beachfront properties instead. People are also using their cell phone cameras and their cell phone flashlights as well. This white light, while in the moment you're able to see all kinds of animals on the beach, it can cause detrimental harm to um, nesting sea turtles and to hatchlings who are trying to make their way to the water. They can become disoriented, which can cause them to crawl in circles on the beach and use up valuable energy that they need to make it out to offshore seaweed mats. The good news is that light pollution is manageable. Light doesn't linger in the environment like other polluting substances. And there are efficient solutions to light the night while being sensitive to animals and their habitats. The Sea Turtle Conservancy has been leading this initiative. Over the past nearly decade, Sea Turtle Conservancy has retrofitted over 200 beachfront properties and darkened over 27 miles of nesting habitat. There are three roles to Sea Turtle friendly lighting, keep it low, keep it shielded, and keep it long. Keep it low refers to physically keeping the fixture low to the ground, and it also refers to the lumens and watts, keeping those low as well. Keep it shielded means physically shielding the light source so it's not visible from the beach. So having a shield around a bulb or a lamp. Keep it long refers to the wavelength of light. People often think that bug bulbs are the right lights to use, that the color of the light is what matters when really it's the actual wavelength of the light. Visible light on the electromagnetic spectrum is between 400 and 700 nanometers, and sea turtle-friendly lighting starts at 560 nanometers or longer. And that's what gives that light that amber, orange, or red color that people associate with sea turtle-friendly lighting. STC has been educating the public and property owners about sea turtles for years. They pioneered the conversion to sea turtle friendly lighting along sensitive Florida coastlines and continue this work by providing resources, expertise, 
and the funding property owners need to convert their lighting. STC is celebrating their successful efforts. The data from retrofitted properties has shown that some areas have seen up to a 100% drop in disorientation rates, signaling a bright future for nesting turtles and their offspring.